For those who know me, it's good to see you. And for those who don't know me, it's nice to meet you. My name is Sabrina Cohn, and this is my senior speech. A boy was walking lightly along one day through a lush green garden filled with flowers. The flowers came in every shade and variety. He often saw butterflies fluttering around the flowers. The butterflies were gray with black dots towards the edges of their wings. As he walked, he found a chrysalis, a cocoon that a caterpillar forms around itself so it can transform into a butterfly. The boy saw this chrysalis and decided to take it home so he could see the butterfly once it broke free of its self-imposed prison. After some time of having the chrysalis in his room, the boy began to hear a scratching noise from inside. He knew he should not help the butterfly, so he sat and listened to the constant scratching from inside of the chrysalis. He tried to resist, but eventually he could not. He went to the chrysalis and opened it. A butterfly with royal blue wings outlined in black crawled out tentatively, flapped its wings once, as hard as it could, and died. When I was in the fifth grade, Mr. McCormick told a story similar to this one. Mr. McCormick's speech had a message that if you help another person too much, they will not gain the strength to stand on their own. His speech resonated with me, and I have lived by it for several years. It worked. Until last year. Last year, I decided to take on harder classes than I ever had before and cut myself off from the Renaissance support staff because I believed I needed to support myself. Since I wasn't accepting help and I started taking harder classes, I began to drown. I spent all my time trying to keep my head above water so that I was never able to truly swim or to go above and beyond in my work. As the year went on, I was just barely keeping my head up until I had weights tied to my ankles. I joined the fall play as I did every year. Once the cast was set, the knot became securely fastened around my ankle. I was stuck. There was no way to make it out of the water by myself. I realized I couldn't do it on my own. I looked to my side where the life preserver had been and found that it was nowhere to be seen. When I had finally decided that I couldn't stand on my own, the people around me already believed I didn't need help. They had turned their efforts elsewhere. I looked inside myself and realized that it's okay to ask for help. So what do you do when you need help but none is offered? You ask. Teachers no longer asked if I needed help, so I went and asked for it, and they gave it to me. I had not asked for help in so long, and when I got it, it was like finally being pulled from the water. There is a lesson to be learned. Mr. McCormick's speech taught me that you shouldn't help someone too much, or they won't have the strength to stand on their own. I learned that, while standing on your own is a good goal to have, trying to do so without help before you are ready can hurt as much as help you. Mr. McCormick taught a good lesson, but it is a lesson that needs to be taken in moderation. Just like the butterfly, we need to build our strength gradually. It doesn't come all at once. We'll be ready to fly once we go through the work and take the steps to get there. Shoutouts. 2018. The class of 2018. Just like the butterfly, we will fly next year. Austin, you are the shadow government. Jackson, I'm glad you support my ship. James, you are half of said ship. Simone, you are the other half of said ship. I know it will never happen, but it's funny for me. Also, Simone, you don't live at my house, so stop claiming rooms. Belle, pterodactyl noises forever. Olivia, I promise you, I know your real name isn't Isabel. Chance, I know. Ian, Nick, and Max, I will always stay till six when one of your cars break down, just not during audition se season. Always remember that time, that dog, that, well, you know. <laughs> Amber and Stephanie, I promise we will hang out eventually. Kennedy, you are my short person. Katie, all the other girls left us and I have just one thing to say. Cucumber. Molly, I promise I get less sleep than you. Sophia, I'm happy to write you random math problems whenever you want me to. My theater kids, this play is going to be a killer. Mr. Holloway, remember to hydrate. Mr. Costa, the jelly beans will always haunt me. Mr. Gablehouse, since I won the battle for the death to the death for the squid last year, I have a green thing as a replacement if you want it. Miss Collins, Mr. Blanchett, and Mr. Peterson, thank you for always listening to my rants about dumb stuff. Mr. Spencer, thank you for always being there all these years and always remembering it's either James's or Austin's fault. Always. Jacob, you are the best brother I could ask for, and I'll be sure to email you a link to this video later. Bernie and Bama, I love you. Mom, I couldn't ask for a cooler mom. You know me so well, I don't even have to ask you to record a movie for me. You just know I want to watch it. 
I love you and I'll miss you so much next year. Dad, you always say that Dad gets the first hug at a performance, so I believe that translates to one of the last shoutouts. You help me so much in everything I do, and you are helping me with this entire crazy college search process that makes everyone think we're insane. I love you so much and thank you all.